All right, so real quick, let me say um, I got ahead of myself. I was talking and commenting on things that weren't in the last video. They're in this video, so I got a little bit ahead of myself. So anything stupid I said <laughs> on that last video, and it wasn't in the video because I got too far ahead of myself. So everything that I was talking about then is in this video. Enjoy the show. Well, what a disaster. <laughs> oh my God, looks like a tornado came through here. And I just checked my phone app weather app says strong thunderstorm in 20 minutes holy mackerel it's actually hailing pretty big chunks you don't see them that big around here very often there's some out there as big as ice cubes reminds me i'm all out of ice I'm all fired up, and what I've done so far, besides set everything up, got a couple more gallons of gas. Uh, also, I checked this battery uh, at idle. It was 13.0 charging, which is sweet. I had my carbs turned out one and a half screw on the slow speed needles book said start out at two full turns so I went ahead and turned them down. I just want to fire it up before I check that thermostat and everything and that's what I was going to talk about today was the service bulletins on this thing. It had to do with overheating the water pump kit. The new kit has everything you need in the kit to fix all the situations spring for the thermostat uh, they even want you to drill out a new location for the indicator tube i think it's got the pump upgrade already in it new uh, heat sensor wire is brown and blue not just brown or tan i should say tan and blue not just tan anymore so that's been upgraded and you can see the piece on there looks new so hopefully they did the whole thing the things pumping great all this the dry starts i did didn't seem to affect that that uh impeller By the time I get the fan hooked up, everything's blown away. Let me reset those cars. It's two full turns, too much. Ah, uh, she's warming up now. I pull that thermostat cover off. I think that's just silicone somebody stuck on it. And this does look like the new spring that comes with the kit. And there's a new seal that goes in behind this, the uh, thermo here. But that looks like it. That thermostat looks pretty good. This looks pretty nasty. <laughs> yeah. 
It works. So there's water getting up there. Can't worry about that. Yeah. See if that thermostat's going to open up. I'll put it in some hot water and double check it. So here's what one of these thermostats look like if you haven't seen one before. So we're back down again, 153-ish. And it should be open. It's open. So put it back in and wait till it hits 140. Because that's where it should just start to open. See what's happening, 140, 145. I guess it's good, which is good. <laughs> so here's the uh, tan wire blue stripe, the newer color compared to the old tan wires for the heat sensor. And you can see the piece on here is like new compared to the rest of the motor. So I had a guy comment about the weight of this motor compared to the 55. And he, he was like, oh, you know, it was way off the charts what he said. So I looked it up, 42 pounds more than the 55. But I don't think that included the tilt and trim unit on the 55. I think that's just the straight 55 motor. So add that tilt and trim. It's going to be a pretty close match. I'm sure this is heavier, but I don't think a whole 42 pounds heavier. All right, I'm going to fire it up again and just look at it. <laughs> so I put the silencer on to see what it sounds like. should be quieter. Still worried about this kill switch situation. Pulled around my carbs a little bit. I had them at uh, two full turns to start, it says in the manual. But too smoky, too slow. Running back to half, one and a half. And uh, came back out just a hair off one and a half. I hate using that primer to do it, man. That primer, you open that baby up, it dumps a buttload of gas in there. I gotta run down, fire up the damn Evan Rude, and make sure I got everything. Come back, get the trailer, get the trailer hooked up, and pull that thing out so I can do the swap. Well, now it sounds like same as before, where it sounds like one cylinder is kicking in off and on. Uh, I don't know, let me try it again. Pain in the ass to start it. This stupid. To this freaking grass. Made it. Unbelievable. Man, this thing's a real pain in the butt getting in here. But oh, we made it. Hee <laughs> hee. So I'm going through disconnecting everything here. And I see right here. That's a crack. That's a freaking crack. You know, uh, working on this thing from in the boat, uh, you know, I'm, I'm never back over here. I'm always 
on this side and or in the front. And I'm like, the hell is that? That's a freaking crack, I guarantee it. Wait a minute. When I first looked at it, I thought it was a, the sealer I used on here. Like right there, you know, kind of dripped. Yeah, that's a crack. And we're going to find out. So, the bolts are coming out nice, bone dry from all that silicone crap I put on there. And, stupid me had put them in this way, they really should go in this way. So I don't have to go through this crap getting them off. So, biggest problem I've got is where in the hell am I going to put this thing? <laughs> Holy moly macaroni. I can feel my hernia now. One of these days, I'll have a workshop. <laughs> so, my biggest problem I've been talking about is this kill switch wire coming in from the harness now I've checked this thing back and forth two different key switches wires on wires off and I was still getting a little bit of voltage through there but then I fired it up and I was getting like 4.6 blah blah volts so I'm still a little unsure about it as much as I hate to I'm thinking about cutting this damn thing up and tracking that wire down. I've got this one more plug that hooked up to the remote and plugged that in and see if that makes a difference. But so far, none of the, none of the plugs, none of the key switches, none of the two harnesses have, have made any difference. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, you know, I can't be choking this thing out every time I need to stop it. I had a guy comment. He said, man, I've been through so many power packs and choking it, choking it out for years. Well, I don't want to go through that crap. All right, let me figure it out. I'll be back. Oh, yeah, baby. Next time on this old outboard. Three days. Been going crazy. What the heck is going on with this thing? Why do I have voltage on my kill wire? Alright. I've got it down to like nothing. 0, 0.03. The best I could figure, it was in the plug. So I pulled the plug, wired everything up, bullet connectors and looking pretty good oh yeah baby you know the channel don't forget to subscribe